hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Sajua. as someone whose channel is almost a hundred percent based on middle eastern dupe fragrances i always say certain things i'm so aware of the fact that i've never really come across something i can say it is a hundred percent sometimes we exaggerate you know and hype up things and go like oh these are a hundred percent um replica or dupes of a b and c however it is quite difficult you know getting 100% most of the time you get about 95 98% rarely do you get 100% and when those happen that is like a, a good gem I'm very much aware that having the the feeling of you know getting an original fragrance cannot be compared to having the feeling of getting a dupe of it you know so I'm very much aware of that however I go with the dupes because I love to smell good at an affordable price, you know, and sometimes you cannot beat what the, the dupes are offering. They are going to give you a similar experience, not almost the same thing always, but a similar experience at a fraction of the original cost. And in this video, I have about 20 fragrances I have, you know, listed that are going to give you the best experience of an original, you know, creation that money can buy. These are called the best dupes that money can buy when it comes to Middle Eastern um, inspired by fragrances. And the first fragrance I have here is going to be Creed Kamina. That is a fragrance that I love. The original one is like a good, you know, bougie one, you know, very sophisticated, ladylike. like However, one Arabic fragrance that I would always recommend in place of Creed Kamina, it is almost like replaceable for Creed Kamina, is going to be Cleopatra from the House Hamidi. This is an excellent release by the House Hamidi. Nothing is going to beat this. This is like almost 100% Creed Kamina. After maturation, it gives me like a one-to-one. -one. When you smell both, you know, fragrances like, um, you know, on the same occasion, you, you can barely differentiate the difference between this and then the OG Creed Kamina. It is identical. No, it's very identical. You can't, you can barely tell the difference. This is going to be your peony, your violet, your rose, your beautiful, you know, um, florals. I'm not typically a floral girl, but Creed Kamina is a floral that I really enjoy. And so is, um, Cleopatra from the house Kamidi. This is good. It's going to give you your money's worth. It was a bit pricey, you know, but now it's on the green market that you can get for around $30, you know. So I think this is like worth checking out. It is going to be one of the best Creed Kamina, you know, from a Middle Eastern house you would ever buy. The next one I have here is going to be um a fragrance that I, I consider an OG when it comes to fragrance world. And this is going to be Dolores. And this is inspired by the um discontinued Marc Jacob Decadence. This is an OG great creation from Fragrance World. It's one of the best I have come across, you know. Not a lot of fragrances smell like um not a lot of dupes are known for decadence, but it is one of the OGs that has been around for ages, you know, from Fragrance World. And this is like worth it like a hundred percent. It's going to give you decadence, but like less than two percent of the price that is being charged on the you know gray markets you know with um decadence being dis discontinued if you find it it's going to go around 200 you know plus dollars this is like a total 100 percent replacement in my opinion if you are looking for like a good you know uh inspired by dolores is good it's been around for like forever you know from fragrance world it's one of the most affordable alternatives out there so for me i'll say dolores is like a hundred percent worth you know uh worth it you know in terms of you know getting a replacement for the good old you know decadence by mac jacobs the next one i'm going to talk about is going to be from um maison alhambra and that is going to be the infinite rose this is a total like 98 percent replacements for atomic rose you know by initial a good one you know a powdery musky floral you know with the um bulgarian and turkish rose and then some you know candy bergamot this is a very beautiful scent it is quite feminine like a very feminine you know um lady ish you know it doesn't give me you know sexy but it gives me a very polished high class you know it's like a high class bougie one it is beautiful it doesn't come across as you know screeching in the wind the blend is excellent the scent profile is like very identical to the og atomic rose by initial there is nothing that is going to surpass this dupe you know in my opinion um Amethyst by Latafa was sort of, you know, paraded around as um, a deep for initials at Atomic Rose, but Amethyst is not on its own a very beautiful one, but 
infinite rose is a real deal it is like one of the best value for money fragrances on the market and the price that is going for currently around 20 something dollars this is a good one this is really a good one the next one i think also you know is a great value for your money is going to be kismet angel from the house alhambra now kismet magic you know even with a kismet magic that it has the addition of you know that chocolatey nuance it is still going to be one of the best interpretations of angel share you're going to see on the market you know currently to me i think this is good you know um scent wise projection wise you know the realisticness of it all when it comes to the apple pie the christmas sea festive vibe of the angel shame you're getting very very much the same thing you know for like 20 something dollars at this point so for me i would say best value for money when it comes to angel share one and done we don't need any more kismet angel by the house alhambra the next one i'm going to go with is going to be one that i think even surpassed you know the original creation to me i think not stuck expression by paris corner surpassed afternoon swim by louis vuitton um although it is marketed as that you know i think paris corner should have um labeled this as their own creation because it gives me something that i enjoy a lot more than the not tag expression by um louis vuitton this is a very beautiful sicilian you know mandarin orange you know it's basically the scent of fanta captured in a very perfumey way and i love this this is going to give you your refreshing you know every day if ever saying summer you know um go on but like fanta scent you know it's a very beautiful one so i think this one sort of you know surpasses my expectation when it comes to afternoon swim it, it doesn't really give me afternoon swim but for whatever this one is it is so worth it it is so absolutely worth it the next one i'm going to talk about is um a go okay i wouldn't say it is a gourmand you know but it's one of the ogs when it comes to afnan and this is going to be modex dough and everybody knows this one is like lacking to la nuit Tresor from um lancome a very beautiful interpretation with the chocolatey strawberry and other berries you know um vanilla it's very beautiful sultry like sexy vibes you know it used to be ultra sexy to me but you know with me experiencing so many other fragrances you know i sort of you know have put this one at the back you know for a bit but it's still a very good fragrance i still love this you know i still love this it gives me a very um upgraded you know berries berries can come across as you know juvenile you know for the most part but it's like more upgraded you know berries that can be worn dressed up you know for the most part so this i think is really a you know a great value for your money you know and also a lot of these ones have been on the market for quite some time so the prices have dropped and you're getting something like worth your while so um but it's though by afnan i think is great value for money and it's like almost a spot on you know almost a spot on the next one that is like a spot on spot on spot on for me is going to be um liam gray by the house um Latafa, you know, they also have the antique and they are both like amazing interpretations of Grey Chanel. I'm not like generally a fan of the scent profile by itself. You know, I enjoy it a lot on men, you know, but not necessarily on me. However, um, I'm giving the, the respect to where the respect is due. You know, I'm giving what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. This is absolutely, um, a steal, you know, for the, what, um the og which chanel is offering us and what this and even like toughest you know um niche emirati antique is giving us they're giving us basically the same scent the same you no know, scent nothing really changes um in any of these so i'll say this is like a great one you know to have the next one i'll say is like a hundred percent giving you um sugar patchouli you know from um sugar patchouli something 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 from um kl is going to be december vanilla this is an absolute beauty this is like sultry grown woman sexy to me nothing beats this in my opinion you know it is like a hundred percent value for money this is beautiful you know you need to love something a little more on the unique side of things because it's the concoction of the patchouli the you know um the oud the vanilla the creme brulee it's a concoction done in a very thick beautiful rich way and i love this it's a very realistic scent you know when it comes to an edible gourmand and it just like almost and i it's very identical to the original one from kiali that you don't even need the original one you know um unless you just want it for the feeling of having an original creation so december vanilla to my nose 
else, I would say it is a hundred percent. I would highly recommend another KLE inspired you know by fragrance. I would always recommend, although I never thought it was going to be amongst my favorites, is going to be the care, you know, fusion. This is absolutely delightful. I love like a delightful, simple, everyday wear sometimes you know um i appreciate them but this was one that's really you know opened my eye to a lot of you know simple fruity floral you know fragrances and this is good the lychee the raspberry the sparkly effervescentness of this all it's a simple yet delightful and you know um a mass appealing girly one with something a little more special you know and this is like very identical to the the sparkling lychee by kiali and i love this this is like amazing you know best value for for money you know and it's one of those that has you know dropped in prices to you know that you can get for like um very reasonable prices currently the next one i'm going to go with is going to be uh a Dama bianca you know inspired by fragrance and this is um Juno noah from haramain and this it's one of the creme de la creme when it comes to deep fragrances from Middle Eastern houses. This is from um, Haramein. This is a very beautiful, exotic fruit and vanilla with the powderiness, you know, and some musky undertones. A very beautiful um, kumquat, you know, scent. I don't know how kumquat per se, you know. I, I have not tasted kumquat, you know, until I got to know Juno Noir and I could sort of, you know, pick up the, the, the notes of kumquat from this, you know, scent. And it's a very beautiful, womanly, sultry, almost sexy vibe to me. I don't like associations, associating some of these with sexiness because it gives me a, more of a, a, a sensual, you know, womanly, um, polished vibe. And that is going to be Juno Noir. This is a very good dupe, you know, when it comes to dupes, this is one of the best OGs, you know, when it comes to, um, a, a Zezhov, of the Mabianca, you know, what, and I think I will highly recommend this. I, I know a lot of us already know about this, you know, but it's one that I can never stop preaching about because it is that good. I'm going to go with one from Ish Alshu Gold from Latafa, and that is going to be Ish Alshu Gold. And this is known to be inspired by the, um, Rosendo Maton number five. And this is like, almost a one-to-one -one. it's like a one-to-one -one. i would not say almost a one-to-one -one. this is a good one i love the you know the the seriousness and the mysteriousness of this fragrance you know with the suede you know the ambry you know um resonance vanilla the dark you know dark sultry sexy bold confident vanilla that, that this one is different and unique you know with the suede like accord or the leather you know it is not for everybody but it's a very unique take on you know a vanilla scent you know with the ambry you know nuances this is going to be your showstopper you know your showstopper fragrance and this was well done there is nothing that i hate about this you know it captured every single thing about the rosenda mature number five with what people perceive as rubbery touch you know to me it's more of a smoky nuance you know than a rubbery you know accord and this is like well done you know in my opinion next on this one that i think is like great value for money is going to be um angam from the um latafa you know angam Go, baby goddess this is a very beautiful one you know value for money um it's like well done about 95 percent you know baby goddess in my opinion and i think everybody knows this by now you know it's a very ultra feminine vanilla with lavender scent and then the lavender is done in a in a way that is not like masculine learning and that is why i think a lot of us love this so and how i think is like one of the best value for money fragrances you have you can find you know in the middle eastern market you know right now next is going to be one that i also find quite special to me i will simply say this is quite special and that is going to be liquid brand although till this day I have not smelled altair or you know the one from perfume de Malin, it's been reported that this is like a good one you know and even if it is not you know um i'm just going by people that i trust their noses who have you know both this and then perfume de Mali's, you know uh, original version this is a very good you know um unisex you know vanilla scent with the cinnamon or the spices and you know the florals you know it is beautiful it is a heavy scent it is nothing light it is quite a serious you know um dressed up scent and i love this this is like a good one a very good one for whatever it tastes you know it is a good one and i would highly recommend that like one of the best value for your money i think it is currently around 44 dollars you know and you cannot beat this one for the saints it is giving coupled with the fact that 
people you know who have like the original ones and i trust you know are saying they are very identical and i love this you know the liquid brought from um fa paris the next fragrance i would like to show here is going to be here confession from latafa i think when it comes to a middle eastern um in interpretation of um blanche bed and this is the only one that i know her confession that is the only one i know of currently you know i have not tried the lactia divana that is like um launched but this is good you know it is not going to give you a hundred percent but for what this one is it is good it's going to give you you know the overall essence of you know the milky um lactonic you know vanilla woody floral essence of blanche base that is what essentially this one was able to capture although i think it lacked something i still love this you know for it's being able to capture the whole essence of blanche base this is good value for money you know this is really a good value for money so i think her confessions was able to do like you no know, justice in a way to blanche base i'm going to go with um um, one that is like quite polarizing. I know a lot of us may not necessarily be a fan of, you know, um, Tom Ford's Metallic, you know, it is quite a unique take on a vanilla with the outer heights, you know, and that mineral accord. But in the case of Metallico by Paris Corner, you're getting an exactly, you know, an exact same thing. This is one of those fragrances that is like a hundred percent, you know, this one, this is like, a case of almost a hundred percent um dupe when it comes to um um dupes you know metallical by um paris corner you know it's a very good interpretation of um the og metallic from um tom ford this is good you know that's a different take on vanilla the other heights you know the the cold um air sort of feel you know that ice cream vanilla ice cream um vibe that is what it's been able to capture it's quite a unique take on a vanilla and i absolutely love this it's one of the best that i have come across you know that scent profile by itself is not like the most likable one but if you love it this is a good interpretation metallico by uh, paris corner i'm going to go with one that i will not necessarily call the cheapest alternative I wouldn't necessarily say go for reseller for the price. I wouldn't say go for a reseller for the price because currently the price of reseller and the price of the um wood bouquet is almost like at par. It's almost the same thing. So it wouldn't make any economic sense to go for reseller in terms of trying to save up money. But if you just want it for the sake of having it, just like I did, then you would absolutely love this. Plus, I think this one feels a lot more better than Shagaf Oud, for example. I had Shagaf Oud, you know, and have since declassified the OG Shagaf Oud. But when it comes to reseller, it's a very beautiful with a, an addition of that, you know, chocolate nuance that I don't get in the OG wood bouquet. It is a good one, you know. I wouldn't say it is the best when it comes to value for money because it is, you can get, um, wood bouquet at the gray markets for almost the same price as, um, reseller, you know, but it's a good fragrance. I would say you can go for, um, the, 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 uh, if it's like value for money you're looking for, you can go for the wood mood from, um, Latafa or even Shagaf Oud from Swiss Arabia, you know. Although for me, Swiss Arabia, after getting, after having it for about almost two years, it, it maturated to the extent that it became a little skunky, you know, and a dry down on my skin that I, you know, I had to get rid of, you know, and I replaced it with, um, reseller that I absolutely love, you know, and that is going to be this one, you know, it's not going to be, great value for money but you know it is a good you know it's a good fragrance you know that probably just have it for the sake of having it i'm going to go with others that i i don't have here but i'm going to talk about it the um nasheti from latafa is a good you know interpretation of um nishani ani nasheti is such a good one it's a very beautiful ginger you know spice um um vanilla you know take on um a citrus a very beautiful some say it's masculine leaning. I say it's like very um unisex in my opinion, you know. But I also sort of prefer it on a mat, you know. Um, the whole Nishani Ani Nasheti, you know, sort of vibe. It's a very good one. I think it was beautifully done, especially if you wait on it to maturate for a while. The first um few days it's a little, you know, um shy and lazy, but let it maturate and it becomes a little more potent and a lot more vanillic and sweet. Although Nasheti doesn't have the notes of vanilla, you still get a vanillic, you know, um dry down. I'm going to go with another one that is going to be um Shalina Exclusive, you know, Shalina was exclusive and or 
um club de nuit imperial those two are for um delina exclusive and i love them both i really absolutely love them both and i think they are great value for money especially when it comes to shalina exclusive because you're getting the delina exclusive you know at a very uh, affordable rate and then you're getting delina exclusive in um imperial too but with more of a powdery you know touch um as compared to shalina exclusive they are both very beautiful i think they are both worth it they are both you know really worth it when it comes to being good in spo or juice of you know delina exclusive so shalina exclusive by fragrance world and then um club de nuit imperial white from amaf i would highly recommend those two the next one i'm going to go with is going to be um eclair from the house latafa it is a good interpretation of bianco latte it's one of the best i have come across i own that eclair and then um caramel cascade I, I love them both. I think they are both like well done, but I think Eclair is like much closer to, um, um, Bianco Latte, you know, than Caramel, um, Cascade, which is like a more milky, you know, um, version of, um, Bianco Latte. Nonetheless, very beautiful. But in this scenario, I'm highly recommending Eclair as, you know, one of the best back for your money. You know, with, you can just buy it one and done. You don't need both, you know, you, you just pick up Eclair and you are good to go. The next one I'm going to go is, um, go with is, Club de Nuit Intense Woman by a mouth, and that is going to be your Tom Ford Noir de Noir. And that is a very beautiful, almost like a spot on one to one, you know, interpretation of Noir de Noir by um, Tom Ford. And that is a very beautiful, you know, um, gothic, you know, rose, r rose and oud, you know, combination with that dark you know twist to it. I love that scent. It's a very beautiful, sexy, mysterious, you know vibe it gives me that sort of you know mystery bold confident you know woman so club the new woman intense woman you know is going to be your 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 dark you know um rose and then um oud combo but made in a very different way it's very different and unique from a lot of rose oud combos you know and i love that and that is like a great back for your money you know like you can't beat that for the price that you are, you are getting club the new you know a lot of these older club the new um Fragrance is like 25, 35 is a good one. Then I'm going to go with Nile Queen from the House Arabiat, which is um an inspired by version of um Baby Cat, you know, um a very beautiful, even more beautiful in my opinion, you know, than Baby Cats. Honestly, I love Nile Queen for that, you know citrusy lime thing and that incense thing, you know, it, it sort of has a bit of a middle eastern twist. In my opinion, you know, nonetheless, very beautiful. I really enjoy Nile Queen over with a cat, you know. I sort of enjoy Nile Queen over with a cat. So I would say it's a great value for money. And I think the last one I have here, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I think that is the last one. I think Nile Queen is the last one here, you know, that I want to share. These are great value for money fragrances. There are lots more that you can think of, you know, but when it comes to, um, being able to capture the whole essence of these original fragrances i think some of these have been able to do that you know um with absolute you know um grace they did it gracefully they are not screechy they are not like cheap smelling they are not like you know offensive or anything they are like good middle eastern you know or arabic you know interpretation of these amazing um somehow expensive um niche and designer you know fragrances and i i love all all of these you know and i highly recommend that you check some of these ones out so that is going to be it for today and i hope this video found you well please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye bye